The House of Representatives has held a valedictory session in honor of former Speaker Omar Galina Aber. At the emotion laden plenary which held at the lower chamber, the Speaker Tajuddin Abbas described the late Speaker as a leader of a formidable team who contributed immensely to the development of the Green Chamber in particular and Nigeria in general. Now, the Speaker said that the seized worked diligently with his colleagues to ensure that the National Assembly budget was put on false line charge and also formalized the legislative aid system the House operates today, which has continued to boast the capacity of legislators for enhanced performance. His tenure was marked by efforts to ensure the independence of the legislature, recognizing that a truly democratic society thrives when its legislative arms operate without undue influence freely articulating the will and aspirations of the people. He worked diligently with his colleagues to ensure the National Assembly budgets are put on first line charge. He also formalized the legislative aid system we operate today, which continues to boost the capacity of legislators for enhanced performance. The vision of Honorable Guardian Abba has been supported by successive administrations, with the executive arm working in concert with the National Assembly to ensure good governance, transparency, and accountability. Other past speakers of the House also eulogized the late former speaker in the good old messages. Former lawmaker from Adamawa State, Binta Garba, minority leader of the House, Deputy Speaker, Honorable Benjamin Kalu, and Honorable Julius. Ihovere Oil described the late Naaba as a passionate, consistent, and disciplined Democrat who contributed his quota to the development of the state and Nigeria. We are very happy and pleased with what uh, former speaker and uh, principal and members of the House are doing to the families of late Gali Umanaba. He was a good man, a distinguished Nigerian. And we need to keep the families of those kind of people in good shape so that we'll be an example for other leaders to say even if we are not around, our offsprings will not suffer. After two decades, we have become comfortable with the rhythm and flow of politics and governance within a democratic framework. This comfort has birthed a certain forgetfulness about the men and women who fought for this democracy, who sacrificed to sustain it, and the hard work it took to achieve the vision of the government of the people, for the people, and by the people. When our nation returned to democratic rule, in 1999, the rules, the protocols, and conventions that guide us today did not exist at that time. Yet, Right Honorable Gali Umar Naba understood that the legislature was the heart and conscience of this new democratic set settlement. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.